Did Joey finally figure out how to make his webcam widescreen? Yes, he did. Hello, welcome to Joey's end of the year uh, review. Uh, 2018 in review for my channel and what's going to come in 2019. So, let's start with what's happened in 2018. Uh, the positives first. I'm not a particularly positive person, but let's try with the positives first. So, firstly, uh, I have been able to afford a capture card through YouTube, which is something that I never imagined I'd be able to do. And that means that the series that I've wanted to do for a long time but had to put off because I didn't have a way of recording at 60 FPS will be able to happen now. So in the second week of December, once Ukulele's done, I'll be starting up Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And that's going to be sweet because it's like 150 hours to beat the fucking thing. And so that will take a long time and maybe three months or so. But if each episode's an hour each, it won't take that long. Um, hopefully it'll be not more than like three quarters of a year. Anyway, uh, other positives that have happened, I've still stuck to a video a day for the entirety of the year, which I'm pretty impressed with and pretty pleased with myself with. I know that really it's not that hard, it's just, you know, record and render and upload and, uh, you know, slight edits if you need to. But when it comes to my, you know, how I am, it is impressive for me to be able to do that and not get anxiety attacks and just stop because I'm a pretty anxious boy. So being able to do that now for nearly two years in a row is pretty good going and I hope to continue into 2019. Now, let's talk about the negatives of 2018 because there are a few, it's nothing major really. It's just, of course, if you're trying to do this for a profession, not that I call it a profession, but if, if that's what you want to describe it as, uh, the viewership figures are not improving in the way that I thought they might if I was consistent. Uh, I don't understand how the algorithm works, no one really understands how it works, but I thought maybe being consistent and uploading every day uh, would help with the, you know, the viewership and the retention and being able to be seen. Um, and it didn't appear to be that that's the case. Now. For the viewers that I have that watch every video and uh, leave comments and likes and stuff, that is very helpful for me because it helps me feel like I'm doing something right. But when the viewership figures in general aren't going up and my subscri subscribe account isn't really going up, uh, it, it's difficult to think, oh, am I, <laughs> am I just doing something wrong? Am I just an idiot? Am I wasting my time? You know, I don't know that that's actually what's going on. Uh, to be fair, a lot of the games I play are quite niche, RPGs and racing games and things that you're not really going to have a lot of viewership for and things that came out 20 years ago rather than things that came out you know, this year or new games, but when you don't have the money to afford new games, it's difficult to do that. Now, uh, anyone who knows me knows I'm not particularly money driven. I'm not driven to do things by all, all the cash I could have, but in a realistic world, uh, we have to have money to afford to do things. So in 2019, I have a monetary goal in my head that I'm not gonna say because it's not anything ridiculously high, like, oh, I wanna get 5,000 pounds every month. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. I think what's more likely is I wanna get to a position where I can go to my parents, look, uh, I'm not, a, I've always been a pretty anxious guy and I've never been very good in the workplace, although I have had jobs before. Um, and this YouTube thing that my dad understands a bit and my mum doesn't really understand at all uh, could be a financial thing as well so I could do that and then give them something back for supporting me for so long uh, to that end I would impeach and implore and ask and beg if I need to uh, so suggestions of what I could do better what I could do differently is it just play Fortnite lol uh, if it comes to that if it comes to just play the most modern games and if you don't then fuck you I guess I would just keep doing what I'm doing because I'd rather be happy than just chasing a trend. Uh, as you can tell, I haven't got a script or anything. I've got a lot of stutters and ums and ahs. But I know also I'm not particularly camera happy. I'm a pretty camera shy person. But I, I think, yeah, 2018 in general has been pretty good. And I would say that hopefully in 2019 we can continue that progress. And you never know. It only takes one stroke of luck to to propel you forward a little bit more than you thought was possible in the beginning of the year. Uh, so let's talk about what's coming up in 2019. Let's say 
that we've got Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which will go into 2019, definitely. We've got Mega Man. I'm going to try and play through all of them. Uh, all the main ones. Let's not go into, like, X and Battle Network and everything else. I'm just going to play the 2D side-scrolling original ones, which I've never played before and I'm also probably very bad at. I played Mega Man 2 once and I died all the time. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we've also got... League. I'm going to play some more League because the people who support me on Patreon get to decide one playthrough that I do for the year. And if they tell me to play through a thing, I'll play through the entire thing. And so I've got Hollow Knight that I've got that I'm going to do. Uh, Mega Man, all the Mega Mans that I'm going to do. I've got uh, Banjo Kazooie on the Game Boy Advance that I'm going to do. I've got League. And so League's a bit weird because it's not really got an end. You just played forever. And so what I'm going to do is play like 10 or 15 uh, ranked games that I never play ranked and just see how far I can get because I play a lot of games in normal and used to get put in like gold and platinum level games all the time but I don't think I'm actually a gold or platinum level player maybe with like two champions but to actually be that level you have to be good at every champion which I'm not so we'll see how far I can get with there I'd be pretty happy if I got into gold at all um, so with that said is there anything else I can think of that I'm playing in 2019 that's definite. Uh, not really. I don't think so. But yeah, we're gonna try Xenoblade 2, we're gonna see how that is. Just a spoiler alert, I don't like the art style at all. Xenoblade 1 was much better, but uh, to bring it back full circle, 2018 was good. Um, a lot of videos uploaded, I've got like 1600 now, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and then 2019, hopefully another 365 videos going up and if by some merciful streak of luck uh, I become something more than the, you know the ethereal nothing in the YouTube sphere that'd be good and if it becomes like oh yeah just go to Twitch and so you have to do I don't know that I'd be able to do it I much prefer this sort of you can just sit back talk to the void and if no one watches it at least you don't have to know that no one's watching it and like Twitch where you see the, the chat and it's just emptiness forever and you just think oh god please talk to me <laughs> but yeah i will end the video here before i start rambling on into the distance forever and say thanks for everyone who watches everyone who likes everyone who supports on patreon it might not seem like a lot but it means a lot to me and so any support is greatly appreciated and i do mean it i'm not the most social guy <laughs> If you ever say, make a Discord, ooh, 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 ooh. make a, uh, give me your Skype details, I'm going to be like, no, I don't want to, <laughs> because I, uh, I'm just not that social of a person. But if you want me to keep making content, I will make content until the day I drop dead. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.